there's much more to York than just a race course. It is home to several historical beauties that attracts thousands of tourists. The overwhelming yet elegant building behind me is the Minster, which dominates the York skyline and with breathtaking architecture is a must see when you visit this city. The city walls were originally built by the Romans to keep the enemy out. Now what you can see are medieval. In fact, they are the longest medieval walls in England. This magnificent building was formerly the headquarters of North Eastern Railway Company. What were once offices have now been revamped to the Grand Hotel and Spa, Yorkshire's only five-star establishment. The National Railway Museum is a visual delight, telling the story of past, present and future of the railways. From the early days of Stevenson's Rocky to the record-breaking Mallard, very much the Frankel of his time. Back in 1938, the locomotive hit a top speed of 126 miles per hour, a world record that still stands to this day. And now into the 21st century and the next generation of high speed trains. Look at this beauty. You will be able to see this next year on the East Coast Main Line. It's called the Azuma. Great name for a racehorse. If you're a chocolate fan, that you need to visit York's Chocolate Story, where you can find out all about this chocolate-making city that brought you the Kit Kat, Aero and Smarties. I'm here in the middle of York at the Jorvik Viking Centre, where you can step back in time and find out all about York during the Viking times. Did you know the word York came from the Viking name Jorvik? And you can watch the Jorvik Stakes this Friday, live on ITV4. A city of Vikings, chocolate, trains, religion. There's so many things to see and do in this wonderful place. But for now, let's go racing. <laughs>